Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got some big money bolos coming your way, and I'm featuring quite a few sellers in this video, and they are bolo finders, so definitely stay tuned. Um, I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and be ready for your socks to be knocked off. <laughs> All right, um, so why were these people chosen? So I started memberships, I think it's been almost two months ago. And basically what that is, is you join the channel for perks. Um, let me uh, show you over here where the join button is. And if you watch this and it's something you would like to be a part of, then you can join. So um, if you go into any of my videos down at the bottom, um, by like the... Um, well, I'm in, it would be by the subscribe button or, and by the thumbs up and stuff, it'll say join. It's a box that says join. And if you click on that, it's going to take you to a video of me explaining the different levels. Um, there's a dollar 99 a month and that basically just gets you custom emojis and a little thing beside your name that shows you're a member. And that's, you know, just basically a way for you to show support and you know, there's, that's not a huge perk. Um, basically it's just people that want to help support the channel in my opinion. Now the next is the $4 and 99 cents a month. And that one is where you get to be in the video and it's once a month. And I reach out to you and I ask you for your information and then I make this video. So when you watch this, you'll see how that works, but that's the $4 and 99 cents a month. And then there's the $9.99 a month. And that one's just an additional shout out on um, one of my social media platforms. So if you have a YouTube channel, it's a great way to, um, to help it grow. So, or it can be your eBay store. If you don't have YouTube and you want attention on your eBay store, I can do that as well. So, um, and then with the $9.99, you also get the other things. So I hope I explained that well. If you click on the join, it'll give you a video that explains it a little bit better. Um, but what you're here for are the bolos. So I am going to share these bolos with you guys. Now, what's awesome is that each of these resellers has a little bit different style of reselling. Um, they sell different things. They sell on different platforms. And you will learn something from all of them. So I am going to show you their YouTube channel. And definitely consider um, subscribing to them and checking out their content because I think that there's definitely potential for you to learn from each person. I will also link their eBay store and their YouTube channel down in the description of the video. All right, let's start with the first item. Let me get my screen share back up. This one is from Mindful Recycle. And I will say... From looking at her solds, I feel like we have a very similar um, style of things that we resell. Um, so definitely go check her out. Um, like this video here, 10 items with a great profit. And she's a bolo finder, you guys. So I think you will be impressed. But I'm going to show you her first bolo. Be prepared to have your socks knocked off. Okay, so this is a glassy baby. And I actually shared one of these that I found when I was searching for bolos in my Facebook group. And she messaged me and she's like, I sold one of those. And I'm like, no way. And um, which is great because she became a member and now I can show it to you guys. Glassy baby. But this one is super special because it's like they did a collab with the Seahawks and it's called Seahawks Pride. So it's more of a rare item. I don't know why they're so special. They look very simple to me, but they are. So if you see them, definitely look them up. But she said she almost dropped it at the Goodwill and she paid $1.99 for it. And she did take a best offer of $350. So she had it listed high. She could have waited it out, but $350 on $1.99 is a fantastic return. So she went ahead and took that. So it holds a candle, you guys. It's a candle holder. Huh, crazy. Okay, 
Toledo Antique is next, and they also do selling events on their YouTube channel. So if you're looking to pick up items, like sometimes they start the items at a dollar, which is really cool. But um, but they also have reseller content over there, and they do like estate sales and stuff. So they get really really cool stuff. This item. You guys, they are not afraid to pay up for items when they know that the items are big money bolos. So they paid $2,250 for this lamp, but it's an original Tiffany glass. It says Lewis Comfort Tiffany glass lamp. So they paid $2,250, but they sold it for $5,000. It did take eight months to sell, but still, how crazy is that? They doubled their money. So typically, if you pay a dollar for something and you double your money, that's not that great. But if you pay $22.50 for something and sell it for $5,000, that's fantastic. So they did have to sit on that money for eight months, you know, but it was worth it. And again, they really, really know antiques and vintage. So, um, and they are really savvy at shipping glass. So I think they're going to make me a video, not make me a video, but do a video on how they ship glass. And then I'm going to share it out to you guys. So um, hopefully that'll be coming soon. And what I asked them to do a video on is like they ship a lot of sets, sets of glassware. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I would be terrified to ship that. Okay. The next channel is Butterfly Hustles. And she is so sweet and kind and she was so funny. She sold these shoes and I'm going to tell you about them. She's like, I even spelled it wrong and they sold so fast and were a bolo. So we're going to talk about that. But, um, you know, I know you guys like it when I admit when I do something wrong and she's like, I spelled it wrong. I'm like, that's totally something I would do. So definitely go check out Butterfly Hustles. And we are going to talk about this sterling silver charm bracelet that she sold. She got this at a yard sale for $2.50, you guys, and she sold it for $300. So um, charm bracelets, I think people like really like charms. And being that they were sterling silver was definitely a plus. So super score, $300, paid $2.50 at a garage sale. Super cool. The next channel is Chosen Goods Reseller. And she, this is Carissa P Peasy. And I always feel like I say her na last name wrong. It's P-I-Z-Z-I. -Z -Z -I. And if you guys have a YouTube channel, I am sure that she has left you a comment because she is so supportive of so many channels. So definitely sub her up, share out that she has a channel now and check out her first video, at hashtag ask me 20. Now, I did talk to her and she's supposed to be posting a video tomorrow. So by the time this posts, she should have another video up. So be sure to go and show her some love with a sub. All right, so let's talk about her bolo item. And Carissa has been into like some retail arbitrage, things that she's wanting to get out of and kind of switch gears. So this, oops, uh-oh, did I forget to pull up the item? Oh, here it is. I went backwards. So this is kind of a switching gear. She picked this up at a thrift store and ended up having 11 cents in each one. So these are Creative Memories 8x10 Portrait Sleeves Scrapbook Sheets, five sheets per refill. And um, she has sold six of them. So the first lot sold to the same person. They bought four of them and they were all in for 62 or no, I'm sorry. Her profit was 6208 on that. So 11 cents each. So 44 cents for the four of them. And she made a profit of 6208. And then somebody came along and offered her $28 for two of them. And her profit was 2502. So scrapbooking refill sheets are definitely a bolo. I have sold them before. Um, I pick them up at yard sales. That's another great place to find these items. People like are into scrapbooking and then they kind of get out of it and they just sell their stuff super cheap at yard sales. But she picked it up cheap at a thrift store, which was surprising to me. So 
definitely a bolo item to be on the lookout for. She does have two left. Um, her store is Chosen Goods LLC. So if you're interested, that will be linked down below. Um, most of, uh, I think all of these people are YouTubers, all of these resellers, I shouldn't say people, all of these members, resellers, YouTubers are resellers on eBay. And I do have the links down in the description to their eBay store. So check those out too. That's a great way to learn. Okay. The next one. Okay. I showed you that. It is Thrifty Nurse and she is new to YouTube. She is a nurse um, and she is starting to do reseller content. So definitely go give her a sub, check it out. Bolo items, $20 thrift store challenge haul. So um, yeah, check out what she's got there. Now she sold this rare, huge lot of Harry Potter trading cards. Now you see 199, but she had best offer option. She actually took a best offer of $350 for these. And she thinks she probably could have gotten more for them if she would have like waited it out. But um, she got these at a thrift store for three bucks. So definitely a great return on her money. Sold them for $350. So does anybody know anything about these Harry Potter cards? Do they, does anybody sell them individually? If you know anything about them, put, put it in the comments because I know nothing about it. All right. Be carried away. She was in the last video and you guys know that she is a bolo finder and she is putting out great content on her channel. I have definitely um, checked out a few of her newer videos and she has knowledge that she drops. So definitely go and check out her channel. Um, she sold this cookie jar and she does a lot of vintage clothing. So if you guys like vintage clothing, um, and so does Butterfly Hustles. She's got clothing also. Uh, be carried away. Cookie House. Okay. She got this at the Salvation Army thrift store for $3.99. And it sold for $74.99. So cookie jars. Uh, this one is by McCoy, which I've heard of. Um, and you can see here is what it looks like on the bottom. So she did a nice job with her photos. She showed you the brand. and. Um, yeah, $74.99 on that one. All right, the next is Vandy's Closet. And this um, is her YouTube channel, but she also sells on eBay and Poshmark. And I'm going to show you a brooch she sold. And here it is. It's Boucher. Boucher. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, but look how great her photo is with the white background. It really pops out. She's got a picture of the, um, signed part and she sold this. She did take a best offer for 30, but she got it at the Goodwill for $2 and anything that's signed, it's definitely worth looking up. Uh, she probably could have waited and held out for, um, a higher offer, but you know, she had two bucks in it and 30 is a great profit margin. Um, I do the same thing. I will put it next to a ruler or a uh, tape measure to show dimensions. So her pictures are really great. So you can definitely learn from that. Okay. Auctions for you is next. And, um, she does YouTube auctions on her channel and, I recently did a video of a vintage toy lot that I got from auctions for you paid a hundred dollars for it. And it was a super score. And a lot of the items were dusty and dirty because they came out of a storage unit. And I was like, Hmm. And as I was digging, I was like, this is going to be interesting. So what I did in that video is I unboxed all the items for you guys, but as I'm unboxing it, I pop up screen shares of how I listed each item. And I think probably six or seven items had already sold by the time I shared the video. So you get to see some solds in that video. Also, I'm really proud of that video. It took me a long time. So please go check it out. Um, again, that came from auctions for you. And her bolo item is this, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, Briere. B-R-I-E-R-E -E, Studio Design. It's a Christmas cookie wooden pull toy. 
and it's folk art and it's hand numbered. Now, um, she got this from her aunt. Um, I think her aunt passed away. So she got this free. It was kind of handed down to her. And um, let's see what the number is there. So it looks like it's numbered. But this had 49 bids. And this is one of the items that she auctioned off at the 99 cent um, auction challenge that we all did. And if you want to see more about that, you can put hashtag vote auction 99 in the search bar to see all the participants in that challenge. It was a challenge that I coordinated. It was a lot of fun and um, I met a lot of great people. So uh, $414 for this folk art pull toy. And I know that some folk art can definitely be a bolo. So definitely be on the lookout. Okay. Now you've been introduced to all of the different resellers that are in this video. Now we are going to go through and see some of their other items. So this one is um, I, Mindful Recycle. Wait, is that right? I always want to say it backwards. Yes, I did it right. Mindful Recycle. I always want to say Recycle Mindful or something like that. Um, so this is a Lemax Haunted Spooky Town house. And I have sold Lemax Spooky Town. It is 100% a bolo. So if you see Spooky Town, Lemax, look it up. Now, some of them go for more money than others. And a lot of times they will have like um, defects where something will be broken or the music won't play. So definitely check them. But even if they're broken, they're typically still a bolo because people need parts and stuff like that. So look up Lemax Spooky Town. Awesome bolo item. And again, I have, I picked up a bunch of these at a garage sale once, not a bunch, but like three or four, that is kind of a bunch. Um, and just a second here. Yeah. Make sure that was up. Oops. Uh, spoiler. So yeah, spooky town. And she picked this up at an estate sale and it sold within a week. She paid $5 for it and it sold for $174.99. The next item, again, is from Toledo Antique. And again, they pay up for their items, but they know what they're getting. So they paid $265 for this. So I kind of look at them as retail arbitrage for vintage and antique items. Like they'll pay up, but the margins that they get are good because they know what they have. So they bought it for $265 at an estate sale and they sold it for $450. So definitely a bolo. This is a cloisonne large Asian bowl. Um, and it's not even marked, you guys. They just know what to look for. And it does have fanta fantastic graphics. All right, the next item sold by uh, Butterfly Hustles. And this is the one where she spelled the shoes. I think it's this word right here. So I don't know if the E and the U are flip-flopped or I, I don't know how to spell it either. So let's see if we can find it in the shoe. Mm, I don't know if it shows it. But look how cute these are. Look at the heel. I mean, I definitely would have picked them up just because they're funky. And even though I don't really like clothes anymore, I will still pick up shoes from time to time. And it doesn't look like it actually says the name brand. It might say it on the inside. Um, but she got these at Value Village, which I think is a thrift store. And she paid $6.99 and they sold for $224.50 with the name spelled wrong in less than an hour. Bolo for sure. That is awesome. And Butterfly Hustles does do um, a lot of vintage uh, clothing and stuff. Okay, so this one is from Chosen Goods reseller and it's Murad skin perfecting lotion and she bought a subscription box and this was like a free item that she got so she has zero in it and this is the stuff she's trying to get away from and she's trying to move into more in uh vintage and you know just different items um so if you subscribe to her channel you'll get to watch her reselling journey of how she's gonna stop doing this and start doing the other, but she's got to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm like, just list a little bit of this and a little bit of that and mix it up, you know, get your store diversified. So um, 
her profit on this was $11.94 because she had free shipping and it costed her $3.12 to ship. The next item is this awesome vintage bear from the 50s or the 60s. It is big. It doesn't look big in the picture, but it's 45 inches and it's rare. And here's the tag made in the USA. And this little cutie, I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. It's kind of ugly also. What do you guys think? Is the bear cute or ugly? Put put what you think in the comments. I'm curious. She got this at a thrift store for a dollar and it sold for $74. And that was Thrifty Nurse. Uh, the next item is from B Carried Away. And again, she does a lot of vintage clothing items. This is a uh, Kachi. Kachina, uh, Kachina, Kachichin. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. C -A or K. Okay, it's getting late. K A C H I N A doll. Um, you guys can put that. You can spell it out for me in the comments. <laughs> I have certain people that help me out. Um, it's a Native American terry cloth men's bathrobe, Smithsonian, Brazil. How cool is that? Would you guys have picked this up or would you have walked right past it? I think it's pretty cool. She paid $4.99 at the Salvation Army and it sold for a best offer of $89.99. The next item is this Metropolitan Museum of Art, the favorite cat tote bag. And this is from Vandy's Closet, Melissa Vandy's Closet. And she got this at the Goodwill for $3.50 and it sold for $43.25 best offer. And she did tell me that this is still available on the actual website and it's cheaper on the website. So you guys, that happens sometimes. Um, people are checking eBay and they don't look on the regular website. And she didn't check comps other than on eBay. So she actually did really well with that. Um, this one is from Auctions for You, and this is Alexandra Demarkoff, I think is how you say it, and it's a night cream, and she's got a bunch of these available. Uh, My Great Finds for You is her store. She did a buyout from Mr. Buys a Lot on of it's creams and makeup and perfumes, and I know she's got some listed in her eBay store, but she brings a lot of this stuff to her YouTube auctions and sells it super cheap to resellers and then they put it on eBay. But um, some items she does list on eBay just to help pick up some of her margins because if you think about it, she's selling the stuff really cheap at her auctions, so she does put some stuff on eBay. Uh, this is, uh, I, I don't know what the breakdown was per item because she bought a huge bulk buy. So, but it sold for $37.95 and she has sold 22 of them. So, um, very cool. So anytime you see new, um, in the box, discontinued new old stock or just new, look up the barcode and check those items because they can definitely be a, be on the lookout item. The next item is awesome. Mindful Recycle had this and, um, these are encyclopedias. And I would not want to ship this. I can't say I would have picked this up. But when I see what she sold it for, I'm like, I think I would have figured out how to ship this. It just would have been a really heavy box. Um, she paid $50 for these at an estate sale. And they sold for full asking price of $499.99. And the buyer paid the shipping. Okay, this one is from Toledo Antique. And it's a tool set. But it's, um, I think they're like letter tools. I, I want to say it's for maybe um, leather. I don't know. It doesn't say that in the title. So I could be wrong. But I was thinking maybe to stamp leather. If anybody knows for sure, let me know. They're steel letters. Um, estate sale, $20. And it sold for, I think it sold for full asking price of $144.99. So any leather tools, uh, I and again, I don't know if these are leather tools or not, but leather tools are definitely a bolo. And you can see they're super, super cool. I mean, I don't know what else you would do with those. So I think you like hit them 
and then it stamps the leather. I could be totally wrong. I'm totally making that up. <laughs> All right. So this Judy Garland show collection, it's a DVD set and it's missing the book. This is a um, Bolo from Butterfly Hustles. And she got this at a Goodwill for $5 and it sold for a best offer of 110 Is that awesome or what? So even without the book, still sold for 110 This one is from a Thrifty Nurse. It is a Liz dress. Now Liz Claiborne is, you know, it's not a super popular brand, but this is vintage. So it's a little bit more special because of that. And this is not a huge bolo item, but I feel like this is something you could pick up at your local thrift store and you could find it pretty easy and recognize it. And you can see it's got the older tag. And she got this at a thrift store for $3 and she took a best offer of $31 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is from Be Carried Away. And this is an Ashley jumpsuit and I did not get what she paid for it. Um, most of her items come from the Salvation Army, but um, not 100% sure. And I can't tell if it's got fading up here or not. But somebody bought it and returned it. But then it sold again for the same price of $68.99. They just didn't like the fit. Which, you know, I think jumpsuits are tough um, for fit. And yeah, $68.99 on that one in the buyer paid shipping. Okay, this is from Vandy's Closet, and that is her YouTube channel, but it is also her Posh Closet name. So if you guys are on Poshmark, go give her a follow and share some of her items. And this is a vintage 1980s Casarati Originals faux fur. And I liked this one because it is actually faux fur. It's not fur. And she's got a great description down here. And I like how she puts marks, holes, flaws, fit. Um, I feel like on um, Poshmark, I get a lot of questions like, does it have any stains? Does it have any holes? And I typically just disclose that, but I don't tell people that it doesn't have that. So um, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a common question, but she sells a lot on Poshmark and that's probably a good idea. So nice little tip from Bandy's Closet there. And she got this at the Goodwill bins. So that's by pound. So I don't know what her bins charges. So let's say $5 or less probably in that. And it sold for $75 and the buyer pays shipping on Posh. This item is Mindful Recycle and it is a DVD VCR unit. And I said that we sell similar stuff, but I do not pick these up, even though I know they're a bolo because I don't want to ship them. And Primetime Treasure Hunter has a video. It's an older video on how to ship this type of thing. So you can definitely go over and check out his channel for that. But um, she got this at an estate sale for $8 and it sold for full asking price of $299.99. She said um, she did add the um, DVDs. I think these are like you can record on them. And she said she had a couple bucks in those also. So about 10 bucks all in. The next item is another one from Toledo Antique. Again, they specialize in vintage and antiques, so um, they will pay up. And they paid up for this also. They paid $256.50 at an antique mall. And um, there is a video on this, and I meant to pull it up. Um, I think it's like something called the biggest antique mall or something antique mall, I think, is in the title of the video. So if you just go search their YouTube videos, you'll see it. Um, but they bought this for $256.50 at an antique mall, and it sold for $999.99. So this is probably not an item that we are going to come across. But the good thing that you can learn about this is these types of items sell, and it's okay to pay up for items if you know you're going to double and triple your money. Um, make sure you know that it's going to be a bolo before you spend a ton of money. Okay. All right. That says new tab. So there's nothing there. Um, this item's pretty cool. This is from thrifty nurse and it's a vintage handmade patchwork quilt and somebody just made it <laughs> super cool, right? 
And it's funny because a friend of mine, when we were in high school, we kind of went through this phase where we would go to my grandma's house. And this is probably way too much information, but we would make hair things. And one time we decided to make a quilt and I ended up storing it in the attic and it got ruined. So I threw it away, but um, it was kind of like this. And I'm like, it may have been a bolo if I would have hung on to it. But she sold this for $67 and the buyer paid shipping. And she got this at a Goodwill for $3 and she said that it sold quick. So kind of fun, right? This one comes from Be Carried Away. And again, that's her store name. And this is a vintage Buxton jewelry box. And it's just an old vintage jewelry box. And this one she got at the Salvation Army for $3.99. And she took a best offer of $39.99. So what I have seen a lot of people do is they will buy these and they will fill them with jewelry. And this is kind of like a display or they will sell the jewelry and the jewelry box together. So you'll see listings like that on eBay, but it's kind of cool. The ones where they just display it and they say, you know, that the box is not included for display only, but it could be somebody buying it for that reason right there. And then they load it with vintage jewelry and it just gives it more of that um, expensive, rich, like, Ooh, I'm getting a treasure look. Um, all right, let's see what's next. Okay. This one, it comes from Melissa Vandy's closet and these are Rothy's. If you guys don't know about Rothy's, I'm guessing most of you do because, um, I see a lot of like Instagram posts and stuff like that, but Rothy's are definitely a bolo. Um, I don't know how to know if they're fake or real, but from what I understand, these can be knocked off. And I think they say to take the soles out and that's how you know. So maybe that's why she did this. I don't know. Um, maybe she can fill us in, in the comments on that. But um, yeah, Rothy's are definitely a bolo item. People love them and they will pay big money for them. And these look to be in, they say pre-owned, but they look new to me. Uh, she got these at a mom and pop shop. And... I can't, I didn't write down what she paid for them. So my apologies. Um, I thought I wrote it down. I want to say if I remember it was like $20. Let me check my phone real quick. I don't want to, I like to tell you guys that stuff, but I think she paid up for them a little bit, but they sold for $200. Uh, let's see. Got it right here. Rothy's founded, she paid 24. She said, this is a rare style that's discontinued. And she had them up for 250, but took a best offer of 200. So um, they sold for more because they're a rare style, but they can still go for big money, even if they're not like a rare style. The next item is from Recycled, nope, <laughs> Mindful Recycle. And this is a Barbie kitchen. It's super, super cool. It's Barbie sized. And look here with the little Barbie. So you can see the pictures are great. I like how they're up against, um, it looks like maybe the kitchen. Um, that's kind of cool. But she sold this for $99. She bought it in a huge lot of Barbie items and had about $10 in it. And her store is Mindful Recycle. So you can see kind of a trend of people's YouTube channels match their store names. Mine, that's not the case. Um, I was never planning to, to do YouTube and I was not going to use my eBay store name for my, uh, <laughs> for my channel name. When I started my uh, eBay store, I was just buying a few things and selling a few things. I never thought I would be a full-time reseller. So it's an awful name. But um, my LLC is in, in that now. So I'm like, I'm just leaving it. I don't care. No big deal. But it's my store is not called Bolo Buddies. So this one is also from Toledo Antique. And these are duck decoys. He got them, or I should say they. They're a husband and wife team. And um, a state sale. And they paid $4 each for them. They're super cute. But some decoys can definitely be big money.
These are miniature ones. Uh, sold for $84.99 and had $16 in them. The next item that sold is from Butterfly Hustles. This is a Carl Connie, I think is how you say it. It's a, it says button up prison yard dark wash jean jacket. And again, I don't know that I would have known that this was a bolo. So um, she's got some cool clothing items. Uh, she got this at a family thrift for $8.50 and took a best offer of $100. The next item are these vintage bubble art uh, frames. And she, I think she said she got this from Shop Goodwill. Um, really, really interesting piece. And, excuse me, she had about $15 in them shipped to her. And she said that they sold for $68. Updated 20 days ago. She listed on March 25th. So they sold pretty quickly because 20 days ago, it would have been the beginning of April. So yeah, that was a, a fast sale for sure. And that was over on Mercari. So Thrifty Nurse sells on Mercari and eBay. I can't remember if she's on Poshmark or not. The next item is from Be Carried Away, and this is amazing. So it says Pear Loon Cowichan Sweaters. Now, I will tell you what I have learned from Be Carried Away is from watching her videos is that she likes to put a lot of detail in her descriptions. Me, I put like no detail. I put the title and I'm like, see photos, but you can see right here. Set of two, his and hers, matching sweaters. Uh, water bird design, handmade patterns, uh, no stains, no odors. So she's very, very detailed with her description, which is great. Um, I just, I used to be more detailed and now I'm just like, I want to get my listings up as quick as I can and I want to move them quickly. Um, but she enjoys researching. And it's funny because my husband is the very same way. He likes learning about the items and in her videos, they are packed full of information. So if you like details and information and learning about the different items, you will really, really enjoy her content. Um, so yeah, this is just a really, really cool uh, vintage, I think it's vintage, sweater. Um, super cool. And those sold for $225. So it was a set. And again, $4.99. I don't know if it was for the pair or each at um, the Salvation Army. The next item, I love this story. Um, I was I gave her an extra one just because I loved the story behind it. Uh, this is Butterfly Hustles. And she found this with the blankets, you guys. It's a vintage Neiman Marcus cashmere poncho. And it was with the blankets. So she got it for $5.50 at the Goodwill. How cool is that? And she sold it for a best offer of $240. So again, we have Mindful Recycle, Toledo Antique, uh, Butterfly Hustles, Chosen Goods Reseller, Thrifty Nurse, Be Carried Away, Vandy's Closet, Melissa, and Auctions for You. So again, you guys, go down into the description of the video, grab those links. Um, if you're interested in being featured in a video like this, again, go to any of my videos, click that join button. It will make you confirm that you want to join. First, you'll see a video of how it works. If it's something you're interested in, awesome. Um, you do get perks for the monthly subscription and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get exposure for your eBay store, your YouTube channel. Um, so that's the perk and it helps others learn. And I don't know, I'd love for you to join. So if that interests you, definitely um, click that join button and I will get an alert. Well, I'll check. They don't really alert me. But um, I check daily to see if anybody new joined and 
usually when somebody joins, I create a members only post and I welcome the new person and everybody subscribes to everyone and I link all the um, channels and then it's just a great way to grow your channel and get to know other channels. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This is a longer video because um, so many great bolos were featured. Comment below with your favorite bolo item. And as always, thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Oh, and go watch that video where I unbox the stuff from the vintage box from auctions for you. It's amazing. All right, you guys, thanks for being here.